Awesome. How wow. did you uh, come across the Batman gig? Yeah, it's, it's a really interesting story. I was working for one of the, if you like, the longest running established dance agencies in London. And they they called me up one particular day and said, Carl, look, they're, they're making this new Batman movie at Pinewood Studios. Um, and, and they're looking for someone who can add this sort of extra few lives of the character of Batman. So I, I went along initially and met um, a, a wonderful guy called Derek Cracknell, who was Tim's first assistant director. Lovely guy. We had a chat. So he was telling me various things of what he could at that time. And I, I sort of expressed my interest in this and then left feeling good but then i didn't hear anything for some time after that initial meeting and then i was sharing digs with uh, a number of dance students um in a big house in in west london and i got the call that night and they said carl right we want you to come in meet the wardrobe team try the costume costume on and go from there and so I did that. I couldn't wait to get to Pinewood again, <laughs> hurrying on the tube, um, got there and met the wonderful wardrobe team, which was, you know, the Bat Wranglers, uh, people like Day Merch and William Todd Jones. And of course, uh, Vin Burnham, who had sculpted the, the cow. And we all got on so well, they put the costume on me and said, you, you really... You really fit that cow well. Um, you know, they were they were sort of singing my praises. I felt really good because I was athletic as well, and um, I used to work out quite a lot and uh, a lot of sport, and obviously with my dance training. And I felt, you know, super in, in this uh, costume as you would do. And we spent some time just chatting, and then I disappeared and was running up and down corridors at, at uh, this particular building at, at Pinewood. I thought, well, what else can I do? I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm literally, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm literally, um, that's all I've got at the moment. But, but it felt great and uh, then went back into the wardrobe department and, and they asked me, they picked me up on one of these golf buggies and took me onto the back lot and... Uh, I met Tim for the very first time and he was lovely and he, he sort of said, you know, show me what you can do sort of thing. <laughs> and so I was, I was <laughs> leaping and, and throwing myself all over the place as, as best I could and waited on the sidelines. Uh, and then one of his other assistants tapped me on the shoulder and said, we'd like you to stay. That, that's how it started. 